Welcome to the Boating News Show, brought to you by Powerboat and Rib Magazine. Coming up, we have yet another amazing giveaway prize. You also have the chance to win a whole year's free berthing, and we check out what could be possibly the coolest super yacht toy. Of course, we look at this week's news from the world of boating, and I think this gives a giveaway of our talking topic this week. We look through the latest range of handheld radios from ICOM. Firstly, a shout out to the awesome guys and girls at MDL Marinas, the UK's largest marina operator who are sponsoring this show. You'll hear more about these guys later, but for now, let's start with this week's show. So this week in the world of boating news, we learned that Torquedo, the electric propulsion guys, have secured a new partnership. Yes, Torquedo have been taking the marine world by storm over the last few years. With the advancements made in sustainable propulsion, they really are leading the way in this field. You may have seen the little electric outboards that are on back of a lot of small tenders these days. They really are taking the marine industry by storm. Proof of this is their latest partnership with X-Ocean. Now, X-Ocean are aiming to transform the way subsea data is collected. The company provides turnkey underwater data acquisition services with its growing fleet of unmanned surface vessels or USVs. And thanks to Torquedo's electric propulsion units, they are also nearly 100% emission free. Yes, X-Ocean's XO450 USV is a custom designed composite wave piercing catamaran, about the length of a typical car, I'd say and they look pretty stealthy. The lightweight vessel is powered by a pair of Torquedo Cruise 2.0 electric pod drives. Cool feature is that uh, they have solar panels on the deck of these boats that provide efficient recharging during daylight hours. X-Ocean has made claims before that sustainability is really at the core of their business model and, and really important to them. And this shows as their XSV have um, pretty minute carbon footprints, only producing about one thousandth of the emission of a conventional uh, survey vessel. They're also um, carbon offsetting all of the carbon output of them delivering their project so that the whole platform uh, for data acquisition is absolutely carbon neutral for all of their survey data. So this is a, a really cool thing to see. If you want to head over um, to their websites to check out more information about these brands, then head to torquedo.com or xocean.com. I will pop the uh, links in the bio so you can easily navigate to them. Next up, this week we have news from the world of PWCs. Yes, for newbies, that's the personal watercraft or the, the world of jet skis. Now, when you think of jet skis, you're probably likely going to think of Wave Runner or um, Sea-Doo, for example. Um, and they are really the leaders in the space currently in the UK market. Well, that's about to shake things up a little bit because uh, Boats.co.uk have been announced as Kawasaki's new UK distributor. Boats.co.uk have announced an agreement with Kawasaki to become the exclusive UK distributor of their new personal watercraft range. And the, the new 2020 and 2021 stuff looks really exciting. After a six year absence uh, from the UK market, the appointment follows Kawasaki's plans to reinforce their position at the center of the recreational and extreme personal watercraft scene. And I, I say extreme because some of the Kawasaki's performance figures are pretty awesome and they're known for doing extremely high powered high-performing, well-hull-designed little jet skis. As UK distributor, Boats.co.uk, uh, trading under the title of Kawasaki Watercraft UK, will introduce Kawasaki's new 2021 uh, fleet. And this comprises of some multi-seat models and also a really cool new model, the SXR, their stand-up jet ski. Now, 
Kawasaki jet skis are the original personal watercraft. And I'm sure that uh, boats.co.uk are proud to be representing this highly trusted brand in the UK. And this is awesome to see the original jet ski brand return to the UK. They're very high quality and they'll give uh, the other brands a good run for their money. If you're interested in their range, then head over to kawasakiwatercraft.co.uk or boats.co.uk. Really easy domain name to remember. Now, if you're a fan of James Bond, then you will love the next brand that I'm going to talk about. I first saw this company uh, when they first launched at Monaco Yacht Show, I believe it was, a number of years ago, and it was so cool. Uh, what could be cooler than your own personal submarine? Yeah, I'm talking about the U-Boat Works team. The Dutch submersible uh, manufacturer U-Boat Works have a new model. It's called the Nemo and that submarine has just received a Red Dot Award for design excellence, as well as being recognized as best of the best in the category of mobility and transportation. This is a really cool uh, super yacht toy or um, expedition um, sort of asset. The global panel of experts uh, for the Red Dot Award assessed over 4,170 entries from 52 countries. And the Nemo is the smallest and lightest submersible ever produced. Built to explore the deep sea in air conditioned comfort, it can safely dive up to 100 meters, allowing adventurers to explore hidden shipwrecks, search for new aquatic species, or simply just enjoy the underwater environment. U-Boat Works has an in-house team of highly experienced specialist engineers and technicians. And when chatting to Bert Houtman, founder and chairman of U-Boat Works, he remarked that winning a Red Dot Design Award, as well as being awarded the best of the best in its category, is a crowning achievement for their team and for their company. Well, it has to be said that U-Boat Works are the ultimate yacht tender toy. And what an incredible achievement out of over like 4,000 entries into these uh, prizes to be able to be chosen as the top spot goes a long way in showcasing their incredible engineering and their experience in this field and building a really cool brand. If you haven't heard about these guys, like I mentioned a minute ago, jump on YouTube, Facebook. There's plenty of content of them being used and exploring uh, new depths underwater and finding a whole new world out there. So jump on YouTube, there's plenty of really cool videos. Now, if you're a fan of a good pair of deck shoes and keeping up to speed with the latest fine details of fashion on the pontoon, then listen up. To celebrate 50 years of their docksides, boating shoes, Sebago have produced a metal pin to be inserted sideways in their leather laces. Now, the stars and stripes are on one side to recall the origins of the brand and an etching celebrating the 50th anniversary is on the other side. These are pretty awesome shoes and they're so comfortable. If you've ever um, bought a pair of Sebagos, you should never throw them out. They will last a lifetime. Now, the tag uh, comes free when you purchase a pair of Sebago boat shoes. And Docksides were born in 1970 when Sebago created their boating moccasin, a design inspired by the geography and sailing traditions of New England. During the 80s in Italy, they became uh, the feature of wardrobes of the cool kids, setting the fashion trends in the main cities of the north. And during the 90s, seafaring competitions were associated with Docksides. Today, nothing has really changed from their design except from the name. The design um, has become known as the Portland Docksides, as homage to the city in Maine where they first appeared alongside its docks. So maybe another little feature for your boating wardrobe there. Now, we love a competition on the Boating News Show. Have you seen over the last few weeks, we've uh, worked really hard with some core cool partners to do some ACE giveaways and they're not ending anytime soon. However, this week we have two. The first one is with our partners at MDL Marinas who are sponsoring this show. They are giving you a chance to win a year, yes that's a year's 
free berthing at their sites. Now, entry to MDL's Marina's Winner Birth Competition is now online following the cancellation of the Ocean Village uh, boat show earlier last month. To be in for a chance to win an incredible year's free berthing at any MDL UK's marinas sites for the entire 21-22 season, boat owners and also potential boat owners can now enter the draw online. So if you're at the middle of purchasing your new boat and you're not sure where to put it, then enter this competition because it's gonna be really cool. The lucky winner will be able to choose any location plus experience all the benefits of their Birthing Plus Otium package. Birthing Plus Otium includes eight weeks storage ashore at MDL boatyards and the ability to earn points that can be redeemed as discounts against any of their services. This is a crazy prize and worth a massive amount of dough. So if you are interested in this, really jump on the link before the competition expires. We've included the link in the bio, um, so just follow that and get cracking to bag yourself a massive saving and an awesome prize draw. Now you may have seen through lockdown that Powerboat Training UK's Paul Glatzel and I uh, did some live weekly sessions. These were giving you a 101 breakdown of key boating training tips and pointers to further your boating knowledge. Perfect for the new boater and maybe a few out there that are a little bit rusty around the edges. I know I was on a few of the subjects. Within that series, which by the way, will be returning bigger and better than before, we've got some really cool plans, Paul and I, with uh, the new boat and um, really stepping it up a gear for you. We did an episode on VHF radios. We covered off on handhelds, fixed radio, DSC, correct use, licenses, etc. And I'll pop a link up um, for that episode um, so that you can have a look at that. However, that got us thinking of a talking topic for our new show. Well, I got in touch with the awesome team at ICOM who sent us this selection of their 2020 lineup of handheld VHFs. And I thought I'd spend a few minutes to give you a little mini sort of unboxing and rundown of the current generation units. These make uh, a perfect addition to your safety kit. And if doing any serious miles, it's really a must to have a handheld backup uh, to your fixed unit. Or if you're on a smaller craft, like a jet ski, a small rib, tender, for fishing maybe, or something like that, then really a handheld is the perfect size unit to stay safe at sea, chuck in your grab bag, and just uh, have that backup there. And ICOM really are the leaders in handhelds. You would have seen uh, Garmin, uh, Simrad, and, and various other brands that do um, VHF, and fixed radios in their lineup. Um, they also obviously focus on GPS units, uh, uh, sounders, etc. ICOM are real specialists in radio communication. So, first up, we have the CM73 Euro. This is a professional marine VHF. So, this is her right now, and I really like this. It can be uh, picked up for about 180, 190 pounds, depending on the uh, different um, seller that you're buying it from, Charneries, etc. slightly different pricing. But the 73 Euro is a powerful handheld marine VHF radio that features IPX8 submersion rating. Uh, six watts of high um, output, a long battery life, and a compact ergonomic body amongst many other features. As such, it's ideal for the leisure user, but also commercial users are gonna really like this solid, dependable um, handheld. I really like its sort of metal body. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels very purposeful, but really compact at the same time. It has a 700 MW loud audio um, speaker. It has a bridge tide load amplifier, which doubles the audio output. Its internal speaker delivers that loud 700 MW output with a clear sound, even in like noisy environments. And we've been using all of these VHFs over the last week or so, and they're really cool. Um, it's got a uh, six WRF output power, and it's got that six watts of transmit power, which will provide that sort of extended communication range, uh, especially for those boating a little bit further afield or that commercial user. Um, so, as I said, it's IPX8 waterproofing um, and it gives uh, a load of protection um, 
and waterproofing. This is kind of ICOM's best waterproof protection in these type of radios. Uh, the radio has been tested to survive um, being submersed to 1.5 meters, that's uh, about five feet depth of water for 30 minutes. Um, and this uh, radio can be used then in rain, snow, and any other severe conditions that you throw at it. It's slim, uh, they call it the hourglass body, according to Ian at ICOM. Um, it's got a really good wide angle um, uh, viewfinder on the um, dials there, so you can really see everything nice and clearly on the LCD. It's nice and bright, it's easy to use, um, and it's got a whole load of functions. Um, what's really cool about this is that you can also use an OPC1392 headset adapter cable so that you can then run a variety of um, optional headsets. Um, it has a uh, voice operated transmit uh, capability for hands-free operation as well. So even though this is a, a little unit, it packs uh, a, a load of really cool features. The headsets for this are HS94, 95, 97, and OPC1392. Um, and that's not waterproof, of course, but the, the, the unit itself is. Um, so any additional features? This has the Aquaquake um, water draining function, which uh, rejects, uh, and it ejects rather, um, water from in the speaker grill. So normally when, if you're in a rough sea and you had something like this strapped to your life jacket and it got full of water, same as a handset on your fixed radio, you'd have to blow it out and go and blow all the water out of the speaker. That way people could hear you better and clearer. This transmits uh, an audio pulse, um, which vibrates those water particles out of the headset, which is really cool. Um, I like that the battery level has four different levels. It's got a really good um, uh, battery life and it's got an auto power save function as well. Um, it's got a decent antenna on it. As I said, it's purposeful uh, metal body and it has a really uh, good weight to it. So this is a really cool um, new radio. Then uh, we move on to the 93D. Now, this is a buoyant marine VHF radio with DSC. So this is gonna be more pricey than the others. This is about 230 to 250 pounds, depending on where you buy it from. You can see that it's got a really nice uh, display on it. So the 93D Euro VHF DSC handheld radio is the successor to the popular IC91D. Uh, this is um, pretty stylish, pretty slim. Um, it's uh, a new radio for ICOM that contains loads of different features, including a dedicated built-in DSC receiver. Um, it's got internal GPS and it's got active noise cancellation as well. It was really pick, uh, quick to pick up the location as well for me today. It's got um, a cool um, user interface um, screen as well, uh, which we'll go on to in a second. So um, I quite like this one. It has got a distress button on the back and talking about that display, it's 2.3 inches. Um, it's got a really nice, large, high contrast display. So even in like direct sunlight and stuff, I've found that we've been able to use it pretty easily um, and it's, it's always pretty clear. This is, according to ICOM, the slimmest buoyant DSC radio out there. And um, yeah, it doesn't feel big and bulky at all. Um, it has um, obviously a floating body, um, and the DSC capability. Now, this body depth has been reduced from 43.2 mil, which was the 91D, down a little bit to uh, 38.5, which does make a little bit of a difference because I think any bigger than this, it would start to get a little bit big and bulky. They reduced that down by having uh, a flat sheet sort of style to the buttons here, so they don't protrude beyond the body. Um, it also gives quite a positive click to it when you're using it. Um, and when it's on you, it's not gonna feel uh, too uh, crazy and big and bulky. The IC93D Euro, or M93D, should I say, has a dedicated DSC receiver which continuously monitors channel 70 and, and is independent of the main receiver and other operation. 
The distress button is located, as I mentioned, on the rear of the panel and is protected against any accidental operation with a little spring cover. The intuitive user interface, this flat sheet that I talked about, not only makes the radio pretty slim, but as I mentioned earlier, you really can easily, even when the panel is wet, um, feel that you've clicked a button, etc., because it's got that depth within it, so it gives you nice positive click and ease of use, even when you've got like wet hands and stuff. Um, it has um, ICOM's family user interface, which provides really consistent and intuitive operation across it. It's really easy to use and navigate through it, and the most often uh, used 19 functions can be assigned at the bottom um, of the display and be toggled with the left and right keys. Um, as I'm doing now, I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, it really just scrolls through really easily. If it falls into the water, the radio floats and an emergency uh, LED light is automatically uh, lit up and activated, even if the unit is turned off, which I think is pretty cool. In addition, the MOB auto set function automatically sets the nature of distress to man overboard, allowing for an immediate distress call to be made by the operator by pushing that distress button. The position and the time of the uh, radio slash person that it's on in the water is transmitted. And you can see that it's picking up my longitude and latitude uh, really easily, even though we're inside a building in the studio. If the uh, GNSS position data has not been fixed when the distress button is pushed, another distress call will be automatically sent after the position data has been received. So a really cool feature. The rapid charger and lithium battery pack um, are standard, which is pretty cool. And it includes also a rapid charger, which charges the standard battery pack in just about two and a half hours. The M93D allows for nine hours of battery life while continuously monitoring channel 70. Obviously that will increase when you're on standby um, and you have a load of uh, features not activated. What's really cool about this device is it has active noise cancelling technology. So this removes that background noise from both um, the received um, message and audio and the transmitting as well. This function makes communication a lot clearer in noisy maritime environments. Integrated GNSS receiver, um, that is a pretty cool feature in this one. That's the global navigation satellite system. And that receiver provides your location, your bearing and your speed. So using GNSS memory data, the IC M93D Euro um, can fix positioning within eight to 12 seconds and I have to be honest it picks it up really quickly even in this building like I mentioned. Um, acquired position information can be used for DSC calls and navigation to waypoints and that's what I was mentioning earlier about the different data that you can have on here um, which is really cool. Um, so it's got IPX7 so this is submersible to one meter of depth for 30 minutes. The navigation function which is really cool from current position to the specified waypoints. And that is um, within your nav section here. And you can actually store 50 waypoints on its memory um, with different uh, names for the navigation and waypoint names. Um, it also has a dual function for monitoring channel 16 and or your call channel that you're currently on, which is pretty cool. The battery indicator shows remaining battery power in four different levels. And it has a favorite function as well, which allows you to quickly uh, run to your, uh, it's like a tag channel um, for the most often used channel. Maybe you use uh, a particular ship to ship channel, et cetera, quite often commercially. Then this is a really cool unit. It's got that quick um, activation to that channel that you're using. It's got that quick quake draining function like the other units as well. So it dispels that water again. Let's move that one over to this side. Now, moving on to the M25, this is a really cool ICOM unit. And also, it reminds me of the old Nokia's a little bit because you can have some different color faces on it. So you can run a pearl white one, you can order a metallic gray, and you can also have a blue one. This is the gray here, so you can change your colors on your 
um, front panel depending on which one you order. So this official title is ICM25 Euro and it is another buoyant marine VHF. Um, this is about 160 quid, um, but I noticed on uh, Cactus Electronics and Marine Superstore that they had this unit on offer for about 129, 130 pounds. Um, so for that money, this is an awesome uh, handset and it's packed with great features as well. So uh, I would say it's a pretty stylish unit and it's uh, an awesome versatile crossover product really, which gives you um, a nice uh, amount of features for this price point. Really good entry into getting uh, a bit of safety kit here. It's super lightweight, 220 grams. Um, so it's like a nice slim design. Uh, you can choose your color on it and it floats. Brilliant. So new for ICOM, this new radio has a tidy little USB connector, which is uh, just in this little waterproof housing here. It's pretty slim. As I mentioned, it's lightweight, so and it's easy to use, easy to charge. So as I said, really cool device um, for your grab bag. The M25 um, is lightweight because it's only 30.5 millimeters slim. Uh, and it's really um, actually quite comfortable in your hand. Uh, it's got sort of like a, a curved front to it and it's pretty simple and easy, straightforward to use. In fact, actually the ICM25 LCD screen is 30% larger than its predecessor, the M23, for you nerds out there, uh, allowing you to clearly see the channel number and the status icons. And to be fair, um, I've had it in various different sunlights and stuff and different angles and you can clearly see um, that it's uh, all the display that you need to see. The uh, device is buoyant, so it does float and it does light up not only the screen and the buttons, but it's also got a red flashing light on the back. Um, now, it also incorporates the compatibility to have an HM213 microphone. That's this little um, device here. So all you do is you unscrew um, the uh, top of the device here um, from the waterproof plug, and then you can plug in your jack and add it in. And you can see a little bit of feedback there from the other devices just as I then go to transmit. And that would allow you to then click this into your life jacket or whatever and have this up higher up and just have a little bit of ease of use with using it. So I really like this for the compatibility of being able to use an additional handset for this price point. I think this is an absolute cracker of um, a, a device and superb. The advantage of it not being DSC is that it has a really long battery life. This is an 11 hour battery life. And obviously when uh, it's coming to the end of its uh, 11 hour of operation time, You've got the USB charger there, so you could use it on your phone charger. Um, you can plug it in in your car on the way home, um, on the boat. These days, there's plenty of uh, like scan strut or USB chargers, etc. So this is really cool. It also has um, your volume buttons and stuff are really nice and clear, so you can um, jump onto the by pressing the volume and then up and down. You can really easily use and control the device. It's all pretty intuitive, really, really super easy. So if you're, this is maybe out of your price range or a little bit overkill for what you kind of need, maybe you're just on a jet ski or something and you, and you just need um, something in your grab bag that's nice and light, then this is gonna be great. It's IPX7 waterproof. So that's that one meter of depth for 30 minutes. It has that four step battery life indicator, which at the moment is completely empty on juice. Um, it's come from ICOM and I have to confess when testing this, I left this on all, all day and all night. And when I came back to it this morning, it was still on. So that was my user error. So um, uh, now it is obviously flashing at me. It has the auto scan function. It's the L L LCD is, is backlit and it has that awesome aqua quake draining function. So for the price of it, this is an awesome, awesome little handset. More on this one in a minute. So let me just pop those boxes over there. 
And then finally, we have the 37E. This is uh, the last of our buoyant marine VHFs, and this is around about 199 quid. Just the overall feel of this one just feels a little bit more substantial than the other ones. It, it, and it's a little bit heavier. It's got six watts of that output power for extended uh, communication range. Um, it's a nice, simple design, comfortable to hold, simple to operate, and easy to read across on the dial out. Uh, a perfect marine VHF for the leisure user, but also commercial users are gonna really like this. It feels really nice and substantial and purposeful in your hand. It's a really nice high powered unit. The 37E provides that powerful six uh, watt of transmit output power, making it well suited for that long range communication. The powerful 70 MW out audio output provides clear communication easy in those noisy environments. And I have to say, we did a test on a new Mary Fisher 895 um, Marlin offshore a couple days ago, and uh, we were using these, and I could hear very, very clearly, even on the camera boat running at 35, 40 knots. It's got really nice uh, large keys, super simple to use, um, and I think that people would appreciate that big LCD that quickly shows the channel numbers and status icons, etc., really nice and clearly. It's a pretty rugged design compared to the other ones, so I would say this is going to be really good for that commercial user. Um, I also, you know, not just the sort of commercial user, and when I say commercial user, I mean sort of uh, sailing clubs, um, that type of cadets and all that type of stuff, this is going to be a really nice um, unit without breaking the bank and going to DSC. Uh, this stores the last five channels used for easy recall at the press of a single key, which I think is a really handy thing to have in any voyage, um, especially if you're doing ship to ship and then you're going into a particular marina, etc. You may have channel 80 or something stored as well, um, and then obviously monitoring channel 16. Uh, if it's dropped into the water, like the other ones, it can be located with a red LED light and LCD and keys backlight as well. The 37E is built to an IP57 dust and waterproof protection rating, one meter for 30 minutes again, and the radio also features an aquaquake draining function to clear water away from the speaker grill, preventing the speaker from becoming waterlogged. The flexible charging options um, that's a really cool feature on this. The supplied um, battery can provide more than 12 hours operation time, which I think is awesome. And I've well proved that by leaving it on for 24 hours. So um, the standby time obviously is gonna be greater. The radio is supplied with a drop-in charger with a neat little clip, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and also if you want to, included in the box, you also have uh, an additional uh, battery pack, which you can then um, add in um, some AA batteries. So in, in an unboxing, we don't tend to do particularly unboxings on this show, um, this is a press box. So it's a little bit more uh, tatty because it's been around the houses with uh, different journalists. However, in here you'd expect to have your charging dock. Um, you'll have uh, a couple of uh, mounting screws for that. You'll have that backup battery, which then takes those AAA batteries, your manual, your um, wall plug, etc., for charging it, um, and then the device. And the device will be split, the area will be removed as so, and it'll be placed in the box like that. So, this is a really cool device, and I'd say, yep, yeah, for those sailing clubs, etc., really big, chunky um, buttons, this is going to be the one that probably you may go for that sort of crossover, longer ba um, battery life, slightly bigger range, etc. Now, we mentioned earlier um, about prizes, and this week we have an awesome giveaway. However, first we need to announce that Max Bushel is this week's winner of that overboard dry bag. Congratulations, matey. Get in touch at social at powerboatandrib.com. That's social at powerboatandrib.com um, to claim your dry bag. Now, for this week, the team at ICOM have kindly agreed to give away the IC M25 Euro, which I believe from looking at the back of it, yeah, is this one. So the one um, second to last, there we go, look, there's a blooper. Um, this is gonna be a cool giveaway. So this little unit 
is that perfect addition to your boat safety kit. So to enter, all you need to do is like this video, comment why you should win, and hit that subscribe button. Remember, you need to do all three to have a valid entry, but it's such a cool prize, it's well worth it. So hit that subscribe button, let us know why you should have this unit, and then over the next week, we will select a winner at the end um, next, say, Thursday or whatever, and we will then let you know next week who has won this fantastic VHF. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you again next week. And if you liked what you've seen, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. It will really help us grow the channel and help you guys be notified when we upload new content. We've recently been doing boat tests with uh, Cobra Ribs, um, with Sea Cart, with Nimbus, uh, with Paragon, uh, and uh, with Juno. So we've got a lot of boat tests that are gonna be hitting our YouTube channel soon. So thank you very much. Bye for now and see you next week.